at YouTube quick video here of how I made my shadow box fence or a good neighbor fence people call them as well um, this one's quite big it's 150 feet long <clears throat> I went with um, uh, one by six by six foot pickets um, pressure treated uh, four and an eighth by four and an eighth by eight foot posts concreted 30 inches in the ground um, we went with this style fence because we live in quite a high wind area like we get some real strong gusts here because we're in a we're in a on a on the flats here kind of a prairie um, um, two by four press treated rails um, and I used these clips between my posts so here here they are these Simpson Simpson Z Max um, the nails that I used for my pickets are uh, two inch galvanized uh, ring nails that they shot on with my with my air nailer and um, these are the nails as well number 10s or joist hanger nails inch and a half um, as you can see I put my rails vertically like that it is stronger but <clears throat> the problem the, the only downside to using your rails vertically and having um, a four and an eighth post is that <clears throat> you can't get your you can't get your your pickets to let's say run through um, obviously because of the and because of the profile difference um, but yeah um, believe it or not that stain there is shell rotella diesel oil out of my truck I like to call it six thousand kilometers shade because that's the interval when I change my oil um, so yeah it doesn't look great so I saved myself well over a thousand dollars by using this diesel oil <clears throat> a six inch roller in a little six inch tray and my method was I I did my I did the bottoms of my posts in diesel oil before I concreted them in the ground as well left that to soak for 24 hours um, <clears throat> we are on the floodplain here, so with the water, the water table gets, the water table's high here for many months of the year. Um, so, you know, I want to try and get this fence to last as long as possible. And, um, I, uh, as I was nailing on, uh, the pickets, I, uh, I did coat the backs of the pickets and also the rails with oil before I nailed them on. So you've got treated surface against treated surface. It's messy. You've got to wear gloves. But, you know, it's it's a pressure-treated fence. And then all surfaces um, are treated, right? So that's the best way that I could build a 30-year fence. I'm hoping anyway. I've yet to put a, a detail on top of my posts there. But I'm going to make something rather than buy something because um, with these um, lumber prices here in uh, uh, 2021, prices are through the roof. Like for this 150 foot fence, it's cost me six grand in materials because each one of those pickets is eight dollars and eight dollars and twenty cents plus taxes Canadian. So the the price really really does start to accumulate. Um, so. So yeah, the diesel oil really saved me, i got to say. You know, if I would have used some expensive oil-based stain, and there's only a few, couple of manufacturers out there, oh, you know, it would just, I think I calculated to about 11, on, 11 or $1,200 plus taxes based on their, their square footage coverage. Um, I know the... The, the clips on this side are, you know, you could consider them a bit unsightly, but, you know, as soon as you, as soon as you walk away, you know, 50, 60 feet, you don't even see them anyway. Um, 
So uh, yeah, I uh, cut the tops off my posts and I, I set it all up with a laser. I set the, set the height of the posts and the, and, uh, and the height of the rails with my laser. Hope you like my video guys and that gives you a few tips and ideas of uh, how or how, how you don't want to make your fence. Please like and subscribe.